Beetlejuice, the upper left shoulder of the warrior Orion, is a red supergiant. Just a little bit smaller than the diameter of the orbit of Jupiter. If you replace Betelgeuse with our Sun, it would engulf Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars at least. Um, they would all be inside its atmosphere, which would be a bad thing. The biggest and the brightest stars tend to be the stars that have the largest masses. They also tend to be the stars that burn through their hydrogen supply much more rapidly. These stars will burn helium for a much shorter period than they burned hydrogen. Ultimately, they'll burn carbon over a very short time frame. And then the fusion processes that happen after that come very, very quickly. Gravity actually succeeds in pulling the star in on itself. It, it collapses in on itself and that process results in a burst of energy that we see as a supernova. Betelgeuse is redder because its outer layers have expanded away from the core of the star. The star has gotten bigger and then overall it's gotten cooler um, as it has started to run out of hydrogen fuel and um, ultimately started to, to burn helium. Betelgeuse has been studied at radio wavelengths for many years. We're able with the VLA to look at the cooler parts of that star and to look at what the physical properties of those outer layers are. Because it's relatively close, we can actually use very long baseline interferometry to be able to get high resolution measurements of this star and actually resolve its structure. 